Good evening and God bless you all. I'm going to be praying in my heart and my spirit for all my loved ones, friends, families, followers and all people in need. I'm going to be sharing with you the tridium beginning with Monday, Thursday. I'm going to be sharing a great deal this evening, the Holy Week of Thursday, 6th of April, 2023, including the Mass readings of the morning Mass, which was the Chrism Mass. The first reading will be Isaiah 61, 1 to 3, 6, 8 to 9, Psalm 88, 21 to 22, 25 to 27, I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. The second reading, Apocalypse 1, 5 to 8, the Gospel of Luke 4, 16 to 21. Following that, I'll be doing the Easter Tridium, the Holy Thursday evening Mass of the Lord's Supper. The first readings from the book of Exodus 12, 1 to 8, 11 to 14, Psalm 115, the response, the blessing cup that we bless is a communion with the blood of Christ. The second reading is the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians 11, 23 to 26, the Gospel of John is 13 verses 1 to 15. So that's going to be quite a long session. And uh, I'll begin with a, a prayer before reading sacred scripture and then a prayer of my own, which I can't give you the date that I wrote it. It was a long time ago and I rarely use it. I mean, publicly. <laughs> because it's really appropriate for Easter. Uh, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love entrusts me here, ever this night be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. And we pray for our loved and faithful ones, and all those in purgatory, Eternal rest grant to them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Holy Michael, Archangel, defend me in this day of battle. Be my safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, I humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell Satan, and all the wicked evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. My prayer. Cleanse me, O Lord, from all my unrighteousness, that your love may dwell in my heart forever. Amen. Repentance. I pray that as you cleanse me, Lord, please open the throne of grace for me, that my prayer be acceptable to your kingdom. And if we weren't uh, doing so much that I would do praise and thanksgiving and petition and paving the way there. But I'm going to continue with the prayer. Here I am, Lord. I am the reason why you sent your loving son to die on the cross. I claim, Lord, your love and the blood of Christ that he shed on Calvary for me. Let it be that I may be worthy of your love. I offer, dedicate and consecrate my life to you. I choose to take the best opportunity and privilege in life to serve you, Lord. Anoint me, Lord, with your Holy Spirit, so that I may be able to fulfil the assigned tasks that you may want me to do. 
Make me the person you want me to be. Give me the strength and courage not to say no to you and joy to obey you. Give me the grace to accept the weaknesses of man. And here, if you were meditating, think of people who you've hurt or who have hurt you or who dislike you or whom you dislike and then pray for them. Let it be that I may be a living testimony of your glory. I accept in my heart that you are an indwelling God. Let it be, O Lord, where I am, you are. For when you are with me, I am safe. Let it be that your thoughts are my thoughts, your words, my words your love, my love, that would lead me to be the vessel of reconciliation of man to you. Let your light shine through me and may I be able to see you in every person. O oh Lord, let my soul bless you. This I pray in Jesus' name. Janet. I have got more prayers for healing and sickness, but I'm going to leave those for another time. I put them up at the front of this folder that I've just created for the readings of Easter 2023. But they can stay there because I can refer to them again. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So Holy Thursday morning Mass, the Chrism Mass, um, the first reading is from the prophet Isaiah and the theme, the Lord has anointed me and has sent me to bring good news to the poor, to give them the oil of gladness. The Spirit of the Lord has been given to me for the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the poor, to bind up hearts that are broken, to proclaim liberty to captives, freedom to those in prison, to proclaim a year of favour from the Lord, a day of vengeance for our God, to comfort all those who mourn, and to give them for ashes a garland for mourning, robe, the oil of gladness, for despondency praise. But you, you will be named priests of the Lord. They will call you ministers of our God. I reward them faithfully and make an everlasting covenant with them. Their race will be famous throughout the nations, their descendants throughout the peoples. All who see them will admit that they are a race whom the Lord has blessed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from Psalm 88. And your response will be, I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. I have found David my servant and with my holy oil anointed him. My hand shall always be with him and my arm shall make him strong. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My truth and my love shall be with him. By my name his might shall be exalted. He will say to me, You are my Father, my God, the rock who saves me. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. The second reading is from the Apocalypse 1, 
5 to 8 and the theme he made us a line of kings priests to serve his god and father grace and peace to you from jesus christ the faithful witness the firstborn from the dead the ruler of the kings of the earth he loves us and has washed away our sins with his blood and made us a line of kings, priests to serve his God and father to him. Then be glory and power for ever and ever. Amen. It is he who is coming on the clouds. Everyone will see him, even those who pierced him. And all the races of the earth will mourn over him. This is the truth. Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is, who was, and who is to come, the Almighty. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Spirit of the Lord has been given to me. He has sent me to bring the good news to the poor. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 4, 16 to 21. Glory to you, O Lord. The theme, the Spirit of the Lord has been given to me, for he has anointed me. Jesus came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up and went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day, as he usually did. He stood up to read, and they handed him the scroll of the prophet Isaiah. Unrolling the scroll, he found the place where it is written, the Spirit of the Lord has been given to me, for he has anointed me. He has sent me to bring the good news to the poor, to proclaim liberty to captives and to the blind new sight, to set the downtrodden free, to proclaim the Lord's year of favour. He then rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the assistant and sat down. And all eyes in the synagogue were fixed on him. Then he began to speak to them. This text is being fulfilled today, even as you listen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I'm conscious that there's a lot to read. I'm not going to do any reflections at all. I'm just going to continue with the Easter Tridium. That's the name of the three times you need to be at the church before it ends. There's no proper ending until the Vigil Mass on Saturday night. This is Holy Sir Thursday evening, the Mass of the Lord's Supper, the washing of the feet and a lot of readings. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. And the general themes... The scriptures this evening direct our minds 
to the opening of the great Paschal celebration the, of the meaning of what we celebrate. We are entering into this mystery in such a way that when we break bread and share cup, we once more proclaim the death of the Lord. The first reading is a reading from the book of Exodus, chapter 12, 1 to 8, 11 to 14. The theme, Instructions Concerning the Passover Meal. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month is the first of all the others for you the first month of your year. Speak to the whole community of Israel and say, on the tenth day of this month, each man must take an animal from the flock, one for each family, one animal for each household, if the household is too small, eat the animal. A man must join with his neighbour, the nearest to his house, as the number of persons requires. You must take into account what each can eat in deciding the number for the animal. It must be an animal without blemish, a male one year old, you may take it from either sheep or goats. You must keep it till the 14th day of the month, when the whole assembly of the community of Israel shall slaughter it between the two evenings. Some of the blood must then be taken and put on the two doorsteps and the lintel of the houses where it is eaten. That night the flesh is to be eaten roasted over the fire. It must be eaten with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. You shall eat it like this, with a girdle round your waist, Sandals on your feet, a staff in your hand. You shall eat it hastily. It is a Passover in honour of the Lord. That night I will go through the land of Egypt and strike down all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, man and beast alike and I shall deal out punishment to all the gods of Egypt. I am the Lord. The blood shall serve to mark the houses that you live in. When I see the blood, I will pass over you, and you shall escape the destroying plague when I strike the land of Egypt. This day is to be a day of remembrance for you and you must celebrate it as a feast in the Lord's honour. For all generations you are to declare it a day of festival forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The psalm is 115 and the blessing cup that we bless is a communion with the blood of Christ. The blessing cup that we bless is a communion with the blood of Christ. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise I will call on the Lord's name. The blessing cup that we bless 
is a communion with the blood of Christ. O oh, precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful, your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosened my bonds. The blessing cup that we bless is a communion with the blood of Christ. O oh, precious in the eyes of the Lord, is the death of his faithful your servant lord your servant am i you have loosened my bonds the blessing cup that is communion with the blood of christ a thanksgiving sacrifice i make i will call on the lord's name my vows to the lord i will fulfil before all his people the blessing cup that we bless is a communion with the blood of christ the second reading is a reading from the first letter of saint paul to the corinthians 11 23 to 26 and the theme Every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you are proclaiming his death. This is what I received from the Lord, and in turn passed on to you, that on the same night that he was betrayed, the Lord Jesus took some bread and thanked God for it and broke it and he said this is my body which is for you do this as a memorial of me in the same way he took the cup after supper and said this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Whenever you drink it, do this as a memorial of me. Until the Lord comes, therefore, every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you are proclaiming his death. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. I give you a new commandment. Love one another just as I loved you, says the Lord. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John chapter 13, 1 to 15. Glory to you, O Lord. And the theme, now he showed how perfect his love was. It was before the festival of the Passover and Jesus knew that the hour had come for him to pass from this world to the Father. He had always loved those who were his in the world, but now he showed how perfect his love was. They were at supper, and the devil had already put it into the mind of Judas Iscariot, son of Simon, to betray him. Jesus knew 
that the Father had put everything into his hands and that he had come from God and was returning to God. And he got up from table, removed his outer garment and taking a towel, wrapped it round his waist. He then poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel he was wearing. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, At the moment you do not know what I am doing, but later you will understand. Never, said Peter, you shall never wash my feet. Jesus replied, If I do not wash you, you can have nothing in common with me. Then, Lord, said Simon Peter, not only my feet, but my hands and my head as well. Jesus said, No one who has taken a bath needs washing. He is clean all over. You too are clean, though not all of you are. He knew who was going to betray him. That was why he said, though not all of you are. When he had washed their feet and put on his clothes again, he went back to the table. Do you understand, he said, what I have done to you? You call me Master and Lord, and rightly so, I am. If I then, the Lord and Master, have washed your feet, you should wash each other's feet. I have given you an example so that you may copy what I have done to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for listening. It wasn't as long as I expected. So thank you so much for listening. May God bless you and heal you. I'm sending you his peace in abundance. May you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. It's probably because the Mass actually took very, very long. And... Um, we had the washing of the feet, which was quite splendid for this lovely old priest of 89. Can you imagine? He stands through the whole of the Mass. Well, he can't have bad backache or anything like that. We couldn't do it. But he's standing 90% of the time during these long Easter vigils. And not only that, he's reading the Gospels and he's doing the washing of the feet. And he's, he's, he's delightful. It's absolutely amazing to see his strength. Oh dear, I will have to terminate this now. Sorry, God bless. <laughs>